Greetings, humans and non-humans. I'm back. And I'm so sorry that it took longer than I wanted to. I just um, got distracted. And yeah, don't really have an excuse. But I did wait, you know, before I made the update to um, the previous video. Um, because I just want to make sure all the information was laid out correctly. And I'm glad I did. So, if you watched last video, I literally ended with... Level 1 Isaac Denier, out. Oh boy. <laughs> was I wrong? <laughs> okay, so, we all, you know, the mystery of Level 1 Isaac, we, I, I went through, um, discussed about it, and then it turns out, three days later, it was real. Like, what? Like, I'm sorry, I, I'm still, like, processing that this is even, like, what's going on. Like, this is, like, the cool ultimate timeline, the good timeline, where... You know, like, the card that we thought was fake, you know, and it became an official card, but because it was always it was an official card. And, yeah, that just, this is, this has blown my mind right here. Like, honestly, if it weren't for, like, all the memes and the, and the early release of this card, I don't think people would have, like, been too excited about Level 1 Isaac. But the fact that we memed about its existence and then it was proven to be real just... I think it has, like, a special place in the Four Souls community, like... Even though the mystery is mostly solved, I'm still gonna put it in the Four Souls Iceberg just because of how much chaos this year has been because of it. So, you may be wondering, what happened, Dweller? Well, on November 11th, 2024, yo, around 10 a.m., Pachio um, posted, you know, this image right here, which came from Maestro Media's website that there were, you know, there's an anniversary pack. And, that art looks pretty familiar because it's level one Isaac. Like, oh my goodness, this was. The, oh, I'm sorry, I'm still going through the emotions just by, about this. Like, literally, like people like um, were like, you know, like because <laughs> like Pachio was a person that constantly like said level Isaac one was real, and people you know were tired you know, of the shenanigans, you know. But it turns out he was telling the truth. Oh, they they were telling the truth. And there's memes, you know, level one Isaac being real, um, just just simply existing. And then you may be questioning, like, okay, um, what, what's this going on? What's going on, with Pachio? So, I did not include this last video because I seriously thought they were trolling. Yeah, like, I I, I didn't I didn't really believe them at all. Like, <laughs> so like Pachio, like in early, in early November, you know posted i found this under my row of ultimate collection you know and they showed a picture of one isaac and then there's more screenshots that i don't have but you, it's not too hard to find but they, they were showing off the card people were you know saying oh it's a pretty convincing fake right there and this and that and no one believed pachio i didn't believe pachio i didn't include him in the last video you know I, I mean i included their meme but i didn't include their card um because, like I said, I legit thought they were trolling. <laughs> um, this was an interesting turn of events. Um, it turns out the card they have is official. Yeah. So, when uh, back when uh, Pachio made the meme, you know, ever... Well, not, not, not back then, but because they made the meme, Ever Dream of This Man, um, a Maestro employee community member, Yogi, handed them a card um, of Level 1 Isaac. And that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty insane. Um, we, this whole time we were like thinking that <laughs> Pachio was the troll, and you know, actually there were some individuals that slowly got like slightly irritated, irked, you know, maybe not angry, but like around, you know, mildly annoyed, because um, Pachio, like the, the way they described in the car, like, oh, it's real, bro. Trust me, you know, you gotta got trust me. And then the, the, the people got a bit annoyed about that. Like it, it didn't bother me because I worked with like other people that's like way worse so like you know this was like harmless to me but to some people they were generally angry and i don't know if it is this is a good time like because people start apologizing once they realize that pachio was preaching the truth this whole time <laughs> oh my goodness like i'm sorry i'm still in disbelief of the turn of events right here so uh mr mcmillan you know talks about you know for uh, this, is, like, this is all celebrating you know, the 10th anniversary of isaac um, there's a new anniversary booster pack, which yes, I will review, and yes, I will hopefully put a link to the description for you to purchase these cards. 
not sponsored, but you know, Four Souls guys gotta help out, you know, the Four Souls um, people out there. Um, but then they, they revealed, you know, the, the card, you know, level one Isaac officially. And then someone said that, oh, this is made my cards real and what. And then Edmund responded, you know, how'd you get this card and this and that. And then basically afterwards, Edmund had this interesting response. <clears throat> Mr. McMillan, um, their quote was, uh, I'm quite sure it was either stolen from the printer by someone or who worked with there or one of the, our I'm quite sure it has either it was either stolen from the printer by someone who worked there or one of our promo card boxes was stolen in transit. Um, this card was originally going to be a promo card single that was inspired by a whole that you know, that, that inspired a whole set of cards. So we now learn that level one Isaac was planned to be a promo card, just a standard one, but then they decided to release it with um, the anniversary theme pack to go around with Isaac's ten year anniversary. Which, oh my goodness, this, this this the plot thickens because of this. The plot has has gotten very thick. So, um, Pachio, um, you know, basically, some people are questioning, you know, like, how did people have access to January? Because keep in mind, this was in January that we found out about this card. And from what we've been told, it was a leak, apparently. And, yeah, they don't know how, though. So, you know, we're going to put a tinfoil hats here because... We have multiple sources that this card, you know, is being, was distributed in Canada. I don't know if there's a maestro employee that, you know, that, or some guy that hacked in there, you know, and like, just happened something in Canada, so that's where he, the cards were made there, or whatnot. Or I guess Mr. McGillan said the cards could have been stolen, because uh, there, there were printed, there were some out there that were printed, because was, that was the, the goal is to be a promo card, and then like, I guess some guy sold it and then sold it to a card store. That, that's a possibility, you know. We got to keep in mind. There's also a chance that maybe it's not an employee. Maybe it's just some shipping, you know, incident that someone sold and just happened to be in Canada. Um, yeah, as I, I, I generally believe it's can something Canadian related. Uh, I, I don't really think anything American was related to this. Uh, that's just my guess. Maybe maybe the the leaker was America for the throw off people. They, they, they did a Canadian thing. I, I don't know. Who knows? Um, and then I asked Pachio, you know, so they got like a level one Isaac card. And then they, they pointed out that th this is actually a pretty rare card in itself because as we could see, um, level one Isaac has a little 10 symbol, but before it had a star. And I mean, this is, this is a recreation. This is not the official version with the star, but, um, yeah, if you somehow, oh gosh, this is so weird, like, so this, the level one Isaac of a star is technically not an officially, uh, registered card in the Isaac Four Souls, um, <laughs> um, index, I guess you could say. Like, it's basically a beta unused content, because, like, you know, it, it was meant to have a star symbol, and they did print them out. And some places do have them. Um, some obscure Canadian game stores pr probably have a few. And I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I mean, I don't count it for a 100% collection. I consider it as like a 101% collection. You know, like it's like an unused version of a card that has been officially printed. You know, it's not meant to be public. So, like, I think it'll be worth, you know, quite a pretty penny. And I, I kind of hope I could get a hold of, of one. Um... Because I'm like like the Super Four Souls guy, so like, um, hold up, where is it? So like, yeah, I've collected a lot of things throughout the Four Souls years. Um, you know, I got the all foil cards. I got a signed box from Edmund, a signed card from Edmund, the the, the Comic Con bloat, an, an authentic um Henry card as well. Like, I would love to have a star. Um, Level 1 Isaac, it's pretty doubtful that I might ever get my hands on it. It might be my white well, and I don't know, I, I'm still having to come to terms with that. Like, I mean, I just, yeah, what could I do? There's, there's nothing I could do. I mean, I mean, I got the official one, the license, you know, officially released versions. You know, that, that, I already, already bought that, so that, that's cool. Um, but if I did have the star, I would honestly play with it. Like, I don't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um... Uh, and lastly, before we close off this video, uh, we still don't know what this mystery was about. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, I'm assuming there's gonna be some room card available out there. That's a cha not a room card, a challenge card. Um, that hasn't been released yet. A new Four Souls challenge, I hope. Um, also, Master Media, please um, sell the, the Four Souls challenges. Like, make physical copies. I know a lot of people that really want to play. You know, uh, or get into the challenges. I gotta make a video about Four Souls challenges. Uh, but they're just like, oh man, but it's not like officially printed or whatnot, it's just like on um, PDF files, which I mean, that, that's cool, it's nice, because it's accessible to people, I like that a lot. Um, I just think that it'll just spice up people, you know, they just present themselves with physical versions of these cards, like, make them bigger or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, this is the turn of events, this is the timeline we live in. Uh, I'm as shocked as you are, uh, that we were in here, I'm happy. Yeah. Also, if anyone um, has a, you know, level one Isaac of a star, you know, like, I'm, I'm willing to, like, you know, reasonably, you know, obtain it from you um, in what way, you know, help the Four Souls dream, you know, I want to make a Four Souls museum when I get old, you know, and have all these cool memorabilia and then have level one Isaac of a star and be like, yeah, that was that one um, unused version that, you know, got released and leaked out, you know, that, that's, that's some pretty cool Four Souls history. <sighs> That's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> well, I've been the Basement Dweller. Take care, everybody. Have yourself a groovy day slash night. Um, hopefully, more stuff to come. Um, I, I know I gotta make a new video about um, the, the new booster pack when all the cards are out. You know, that'll be pretty exciting to do. Take care. Bye-bye.